Earth Wind and Fire abbreviated as EWF or EWNF is an American band that has spanned the musical genres of R&B, soul, funk, jazz, disco, pop, rock, dance, Latin, and Afropop. They have been described as one of the most innovative and commercially successful acts of all time. Rolling Stone called them innovative, precise yet sensual, calculated yet galvanizing and declared that the band changed the sound of black pop. VH1 has also described EWF as one of the greatest bands ever. The band was founded in Chicago by Maurice White in 1969, having grown out of a previous band known as the Salty Peppers. Other prominent members of EWF have included Philip Bailey, Verdeen White, Ralph Johnson, Larry Dunn, Al McKay, Roland Bautista, Sonny Emery, Sheldon Reynolds and Andrew Woolfolk. The band is known for its dynamic horn section, kalimba sound, energetic and elaborate stage shows, and the contrast between Philip Bailey's falsetto vocals and Maurice White's baritone. The band has won six Grammys from their 17 nominations. They have won four American Music Awards out of 12 nominations. They have also been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the Vocal Group Hall of Fame, received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and sold over 90 million records, making them one of the world's best-selling bands of all time. EWF has been inducted into the NAACP Image Award Hall of Fame and Hollywood's Rockwalk. The band have received an ASCAP Rhythm and Soul Heritage Award, BET Lifetime Achievement Award, and Soul Train Legend Award. EWF has received a NARIS Signature Governor's Award, a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award, and the 2012 Congressional Horizon Award. Topic. History Topic: 1969–1970 Beginnings. In 1969, Maurice White, a former session drummer for Chess Records and former member of the Ramsey Lewis Trio, joined two friends in Chicago, Wade Flemons and Don Whitehead, as a songwriting team composing songs and commercials in the Chicago area. The three friends eventually got a recording contract with Capitol Records. Calling themselves the Salty Peppers, they went on to have a marginal hit single in the Midwestern area entitled La La Time. The Salty Peppers' second single, Uh Ha Yeah, did not fare as well. Maurice moved on from Chicago to Los Angeles. He added to the band singer Sherry Scott and percussionist Yaakov Ben Israel, both from Chicago, and then asked his younger brother Verdine how he would feel about heading out to the West Coast. On June 6, 1970, Verdine left Chicago to join the band as their new bassist. Maurice began shipping demo tapes of the band, featuring Donny Hathaway, around to different record labels and the band was thus signed to Warner Brothers Records. 1970-1973, Formation and Early Years Maurice's astrological sign, Sagittarius, has a primary elemental quality of fire and seasonal qualities of earth and air, according to classical triplicities. Sagittarius in the Northern Hemisphere occurs in the autumn, whose element is earth, and in the Southern Hemisphere, it is spring, whose element is air. Hence the omission of water, the fourth classical element. Based on this, he changed the band's name, to, Earth Wind and Fire. Maurice held further auditions in L.A. where he added Michael Beale on guitar, Chester Washington on reeds, and Leslie Drayton on trumpet. With Maurice as a percussionist and lead vocalist Drayton also served as the group's musical arranger. Trombonist Alex Thomas completed the then 10-man EWF lineup. The band's self-titled debut album was eventually released in February 1971 on Warner Brothers. 
The album got to number 24 on the Billboard Top Soul Albums chart. EWF also performed on the soundtrack of the Melvin Van Peebles feature film Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song. The soundtrack was released in June 1971 on Stax Records and reached number 13 on the Billboard Top R&B Albums chart. In November 1971, EWF's sophomore album entitled The Need of Love was issued. It got to number 35 on the Billboard Top Soul Albums chart. All Music described the album as an ambitious LP with an abstract sense of composition. Billboard called the LP a display of good potential, rock and pop. An album cut called I Think About Lovin' You reached number 44 on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs chart. The band developed a growing popularity on college campuses but, in spite of this, some members of EWF started to become restless and the band broke up after having been together less than six months. With only Verdine left, Maurice decided to re-form the group. In 1972, Maurice added vocalist Helena Davis, Ronnie Laws on the flute and saxophone, rhythm guitarist Roland Bautista, keyboardist Larry Dunn, vocalist Philip Bailey and percussionist Ralph Johnson to the group. Davis was soon replaced by Jessica Cleves, a former member of the R&B group The Friends of Distinction. The band successfully auditioned for managers Bob Cavallo and Joe Ruffalo. Cavallo's management of John Sebastian led to a series of gigs as the opening act for the pop, folk singer and the Love and Spoonful founder. A performance at New York's Rockefeller Center introduced EWF to Clive Davis, then the president of Columbia Records. Davis was very impressed with the band's performance and bought out their contract from Warner Brothers their debut album on CBS, Columbia Records, Last Days and Time was issued in October 1972. All Music described Last Days and Time as a mix of Motown Pop, Funk and Folk, Sly and the Family Stones R&B and the fusion style of Weather Report. Billboard noted a dynamic soul rock style as the main ingredients of the album. The album got to number 15 on the Billboard Top Soul Albums chart. An album cut entitled Mom also got to number 39 on the Cashbox Top R&B Singles Chart. Soon thereafter Roland Bautista and Ronnie Laws left the band to pursue new musical opportunities. Denver native Philip Bailey recommended his former East High School classmate, saxophonist Andrew Woolfolk as a replacement for Laws. Woolfolk had been busy in New York studying sax with sax maestro Joe Henderson and was due to start a career in banking at the time. To fill the void created by Bautista's departure, guitarists Al McKay and Johnny Graham were added to round out the new lineup. Graham previously played with the R&B group New Birth while McKay was a former member of the Ike and Tina Turner Review and the Watts 103rd Street Rhythm Band. EWF's fourth studio album Head to the Sky was released in May 1973. The album rose to nose. 2 and 27 on the Billboard Top Soul Albums and Billboard 200 charts respectively. Head to the Sky has also been certified platinum in the U.S. by the RIAA. Rolling Stone declared that on the album EWF Sound Cosmic with music that's full of purity, fluid, and mostly distinctive. Billboard also noted that the band does everything well on the LP, an album cut entitled Evil Got to Knows. 19 and 25 on the Billboard Adult Contemporary Songs and Hot Soul Songs charts respectively. The single, Keep Your Head to the Sky, rose to number 23 on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs chart. Jessica Cleves left the band after the release of this album. 1974-1980, Classic Period The band's follow-up album was co-produced by Maurice and Joe Wissert, with Charles Stepney serving as an associate producer. Stepney had previously worked with artists such as The Dells, The Rotary Connection, Terry Callier, Minnie Ripperton, and Ramsey Lewis. 
This LP was recorded at Colorado's Caribou Ranch Studio and issued under the title of Open Our Eyes in March 1974. Rolling Stone called Open Our Eyes an LP with lots of positive elements. Music critic Robert Christgau described the album as a complete tour de force. The album rose to nose, 1 and 15 on the Billboard Top Soul Albums and Top Pop Albums charts respectively. Open Our Eyes was certified platinum in the U.S. by the RIAA. A song from the LP dubbed Mighty Mighty reached nose, 4 and 29 on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs and Hot 100 charts respectively. An album cut called Kalimba Story rose to number 6 on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs chart. The single Devotion got to nose, 23 and 33 on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs and Hot 100 charts respectively. After Open Our Eyes was issued, Maurice's younger brother, Fred White, joined the band. He had previously played in Chicago clubs as a drummer with Donny Hathaway and Little Feet. On April 6, 1974, Earth Wind and Fire performed at the California Jam, a West Coast rock festival that attracted an audience of 200,000. The concert was televised in the U.S. on May 10, 1974, by ABC. In September 1974, a compilation album entitled Another Time with Songs from EWF's first two studio albums was released by Warner Brothers. The album got to number 29 on the Billboard Top Soul Albums chart. The band collaborated with Ramsey Lewis on his album Sun Goddess, which was issued in late 1974 by Columbia. The album got to nose, 1 and 12 on the Billboard Top Soul Albums and Billboard 200 charts, respectively. The LP's title track rose to number 20 on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs chart. Sun Goddess was certified gold in the U.S. by the RIAA. In 1975, Earth Wind and Fire was approached by Sig Shore, producer of the motion picture Superfly, to record the soundtrack to a new film entitled That's the Way of the World. With a screenplay from Robert Lipsight, the movie was produced and directed by Shore. The film starred Harvey Keitel, Ed Nelson, EWF as the group and Maurice as Early, the group's leader. Keitel played the role of a record producer who hears the group performing and is wowed by their act. When the band saw the film they were convinced that it would become a box office bomb, which it eventually was. They therefore released the movie's soundtrack before the film's premiere. Co-produced by Maurice White and Charles Stepney and recorded at the Caribou Ranch Studio, That's the Way of the World was issued in March 1975 by Columbia. The album rose to number one on both the Billboard 200 and Top Soul Albums charts. The album was warmly received by critics. Billboard magazine called it a very tightly produced and performed package. The BBC described it as a soul masterpiece. With the LP, EWF became the first black act to top both the Billboard album and singles charts. The album was certified triple platinum in the US by the RIAA. Off the LP came the single Shining Star, which rose to number one on both the Billboard Hot 100 and Hot Soul singles charts. It also won a Grammy Award for Best R&B Performance by a Duo or Group with Vocals. The album's title track, That's the Way of the World, also reached nose, 5 and 12 on the Billboard Hot Soul Singles and Hot 100 charts respectively. Because of the album's tremendous commercial success, the band was able to hire a full horn section, which was dubbed the Phoenix Horns. They were composed of saxophonist Don Myrick, trombonist Louis Satterfield, and trumpeters Romley Davis and Michael Harris. Myrick and Satterfield had both worked with Maurice during his days as a session drummer at Chess Records. After their first tour of Europe EWF returned to the studio in June 1975 for a follow-up release. The band eventually came away with an album of mostly live concert material together with some newly recorded tracks. 
As a double LP the new album entitled Gratitude was issued in November 1975. It rose to number one on both the Billboard 200 and Top Soul Albums charts respectively. The album was certified triple platinum in the U.S. by the RIAA. With the LP came the song Sing a Song, which rose to nose, one and five on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs and Hot 100 charts respectively. The single Can't Hide Love got to number 11 on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs chart. Can't Hide Love was also Grammy nominated for Best Arrangement for Voices. EWF went on to win a Rock Music Award in the category of Best Soul Album for Gratitude. The album's title track was Grammy nominated in the category of Best R&B Performance by a Duo or Group with Vocals. EWF also won Downbeat's 1975 Reader's Poll for Favorite Rock, Blues Group. During 1975, Maurice established a production company called Kalimba Productions. Artists such as his former bandleader Ramsey Lewis, singer Denise Williams, who had once been a member of Stevie Wonder's Wonderlove backup group, and girl group The Emotions, were signed to the production company. Maurice loaned the band's signature Phoenix Horns and most of the other band members and put in tour with Earth Wind and Fire these artists and others who were signed to Kalimba Productions, while co-producing and arranging Earth Wind and Fire's follow-up LP, Denise Williams's debut album, This Is Nisi, Ramsey Lewis Salongo, and The Emotions's Flowers, their first album on Columbia Records, Charles Stepney died of a heart attack on May 17. 1976 in Chicago at the age of 43. With Stepney's death, Maurice went on to solely produce the band's new LP, Spirit, which was issued in October 1976. With the album's title EWF paid tribute to Stepney. The LP rose to number two on both the Billboard Top Pop Albums and Top Soul Albums chart. The New York Times described Spirit as an LP which crosses any stylistic formats of music. Spirit was certified double platinum in the U.S. by the RIAA. A cut off the album called Getaway reached number one on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs chart. The single also rose to number 12 on both the Billboard Hot 100 and Dance Club Play charts. Another track entitled Saturday Night reached Nose, 4 and 21 on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs and Hot 100 charts respectively. Saturday Night also rose to Nose, 12 and 17 on both the Billboard Dance Club Songs and UK Singles charts, respectively. EW and F also topped down Beat's 1976 Reader's Poll for Best Vocal Group. During this period, EWF concerts started to become loaded with pyrotechnics, magic, laser lights, flying pyramids, levitating guitarists, and elaborate production tricks that included the entire group ascending in a pyramid and a disappearing act. The stage magician Doug Henning was thus with many of their tours with his young assistant and eventual successor, David Copperfield. The band also began to be choreographed by George Faison. In November 1977 EWF released All and All, their eighth studio album. It was inspired via a month-long trip by Maurice White through Argentina and Brazil. The album rose to number one and three on the Billboard Top Soul Albums and Billboard 200 charts respectively. The New York Times described the LP as more so jazz rock. The Village Voice also noted focusing soulful horns, high-tension harmonies, and rhythms and textures from many lands on the album which cooks throughout, all in all won a Grammy for Best R&B Vocal Performance by a Duo, Group or Chorus. The album was certified triple platinum in the U.S. by the RIAA. An album cut called Serpentine Fire rose to nose, 1 and 13 on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs and Hot 100 charts respectively. The single Fantasy reached nose, 12 and 14 on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs and UK Singles charts. 
Fantasy was Grammy nominated in the category of Best R&B Song. A track off the LP called Runnin' won a Grammy Award for Best R&B Instrumental. During April 1978 the band featured on Natalie Cole's special aired on CBS where they performed a medley. EWF also appeared in the July 1978 feature film SGT. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band where they performed a cover of the Beatles' Got to Get You Into My Life. The song was eventually added to the movie's soundtrack. However, the film was a commercial failure, as That's the Way of the World had been years before. EWF's rendition of Got to Get You Into My Life was the biggest hit from the movie's soundtrack, reaching No's, 1 and 9 on the Billboard R&B and Pop Singles charts, respectively. The song was Grammy nominated in the category of Best Pop Vocal Performance by a Duo, Group or Chorus. It went on to win a Grammy for Best Instrumental Arrangement Accompanying Vocalists. The movie's soundtrack was certified platinum in the U.S. by the RIAA. In 1978 Maurice established a vanity label of CBS entitled The American Recording Company, and, alongside sound engineer George Massenberg, a new recording studio called The Complex in West Los Angeles. In November 1978 EWF issued a compilation album entitled The Best of Earth Wind and Fire, Volume 1. It rose to nose. 3 and 6 on the Billboard Top Soul Albums and Billboard 200 charts respectively. The album was certified quintuple platinum in the U.S. by the RIAA. Off the LP came a cut entitled September. It rose to nose, 1 and 8 on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs and Hot 100 respectively. It also got to number 3 on the UK Singles Chart. In January 1979 the band performed September and That's the Way of the World at the Music for UNICEF concert. The concert was broadcast worldwide from the United Nations General Assembly by NBC. Other artists who performed at the event were ABBA, The Bee Gees, Olivia Newton-John, Donna Summer and Rod Stewart. The concert was Emmy-nominated in the category of Outstanding Individual Achievement, Special Class. In June 1979 EWF issued their ninth studio album, I Am. The LP rose to nose, 1 and 3 on the Billboard Top Soul Albums and Billboard 200 Charts. I Am was certified double platinum in the U.S. by the RIAA. A song off the album called After the Love Has Gone reached number two on both the Billboard Hot 100 and Hot Soul Songs charts. The song also reached number three on both the Billboard Adult Contemporary Songs and UK Singles charts. The ballad was Grammy nominated in the category of Record of the Year. After the Love Has Gone also won a Grammy for the Best R&B Vocal Performance by a Duo or Group, another album cut called Boogie Wonderland featuring the emotions got to nose. Two and six on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs and Hot 100 charts respectively. The song was Grammy nominated in the categories of Best Disco Recording and Best R&B Instrumental Performance. During October 1980 a double album entitled Faces was issued. This record was partly recorded in the Caribbean island of Montserrat and with its release guitarist Al McKay left the band soon afterwards. The LP rose to number 2 on the Billboard Top Soul Albums chart and number 10 on both the Billboard 200 and UK Albums charts. Faces was certified gold in the US by the RIAA. In a 2007 interview, when asked which EWF album was his favorite, Maurice White replied, Probably Faces because we were really in tune. And it gave us the opportunity to explore new areas. Off the album, the track Let Me Talk reached number 8 on the Billboard R&B Singles Chart and number 29 on the UK Singles Chart. The album cut You got to number 10 on the Billboard R&B singles chart. 
the track and Love Goes On rose to number 15 on the Billboard R&B Singles Chart. Topic 1981-1994, Electronic Period White decided that, given the changing musical landscape, the band needed to incorporate into their work more of the electronic sound which was popular at the time. As a result, EWF's 11th album, Rays, was influenced by this new electronic sound and released in the fall of 1981. With this album rhythm guitarist Roland Bautista returned to EWF. Bautista went on to give the band a bit of a hard rock feel in his playing. Rays, was certified platinum in the U.S. by the RIAA for sales of over a million copies and gold in the U.K. and Canada by the British Phonographic Industry and Music Canada respectively. With the LP came the song, Let's Groove, which was certified gold in the U.S. by the RIAA. Let's Groove was Grammy nominated in the category of Best R&B Performance by a duo or group with vocals. Another single entitled, Wanna Be With You, won EWF a Grammy for Best R&B Vocal Performance by a duo or group. Earth Wind and Fire appeared at American Bandstand's 30th Anniversary Special, where they performed Let's Groove on October 30, 1981. In 1981 the Phoenix Horns also began their frequent collaborations with Phil Collins and his band Genesis. In February 1983 the band issued a studio album entitled Powerlight. The album rose to nose, 4 and 12 on the Billboard Top R&B Albums and Billboard 200 charts respectively. Powerlight was certified gold in the U.S. by the RIAA, the New York Times noted, melodious pop lyricism based on relatively complex, jazzy harmonies, on Powerlight, Robert Christgau also declared that on the LP, we're free to gape at this band's spectacular popcraft, a album cut called, Fall in Love with Me, rose to nose. 17 and 4 on the Billboard Hot 100 and Hot R&B Songs charts respectively. Fall in Love with Me was Grammy nominated for Best R&B Performance by a duo or group with vocals. Another single entitled Side by Side got to number 15 on the Billboard Hot R&B Songs chart. EWF went on to contribute the song Dance, Dance, Dance to the soundtrack of the April 1983 animated film Rock and Rule. The soundtrack also featured Debbie Harry of Blondie, Lou Reed and Cheap Trick. Rock and Rule was the first feature film of Nirvana Studios and has since gone on to become a cult classic. In late 1983, EWF issued their 13th studio album, entitled Electric Universe. With the album came a unique fully new wave and synth pop sound for EWF. The album got to nose. 8 and 40 on the top R&B albums and Billboard 200 charts respectively, Rolling Stone described Electric Universe as being full of sensuous, and at times, rock-oriented dance material. Cashbox noted on the album, soulful ballads, and upbeat funk aramas, with, an undeniable futuristic influence in many of the songs pronouncing the effects of the space, computer age. Off the album the single Magnetic rose to nose. 10 and 36 on the Hot R&B Songs and Dance Club Songs charts respectively. Another single entitled Touch got to number 23 on the Hot R&B Songs chart. With the release of this LP Maurice believed the band needed a break, so he put EWF on hiatus in 1984. During their hiatus Maurice went on to produce Barbara Streisand on her 1984 album Emotion. Emotion has been certified platinum in the U.S. by the RIAA. He later produced Neil Diamond on his 1986 gold album Headed for the Future. White released the self-titled solo album Maurice White in 1985, which included a cover of Stand By Me that went to number 6 on the R&B charts and number 11 on the adult contemporary charts. 
The album also featured an appearance by saxophonist Gerald Albright. He also worked with guitarist Lee Rittenauer on his 1986 Grammy-nominated album Earth Run and Cher on her 1987 platinum album Cher. Philip Bailey also issued his second solo album, Chinese Wall, in 1984 on Columbia. The album was certified gold in the U.S. by the RIAA. A single off the LP with Phil Collins called Easy Lover rose to number two on the US Billboard Hot 100 and number one on the UK Singles Chart respectively. He went on to appear on Kenny Loggins' 1985 album Vox Humana. Bailey went on to release his third studio album Being Inside Out in 1986 on Columbia. He later featured on Ray Parker Jr.'s 1987 LP After Dark. Ralph Johnson also produced The Temptations on their 1984 album Truly For You. Verdine White went on to promote go go bands like Trouble Funk and EU. The compilation album The Collection was released May 1986, stayed at number 5 on the UK singles charts for two weeks, and was certified gold in the UK by the British phonographic industry. During 1987, Maurice went about reconvening the band. As a result, Verdine White, Ralph Johnson, Philip Bailey, and Andrew Woolfolk returned with new members guitarist, vocalist Sheldon Reynolds, and drummer Sonny Emery. A new horn section dubbed the Earth Wind and Fire Horns was created, made up of Gary Bias on the saxophone, Raymond Lee Brown on the trumpet, and Reggie Young on the flugelhorn and trombone. With this came the studio album Touch the World which was issued in November 1987. Touch the World rose to nose. 3 and 33 on the top R&B, hip-hop albums and Billboard 200 charts respectively. The album was nominated for a Soul Train Award in the category of Best R&B, Soul Album of the Year. Touch the World was also certified gold in the U.S. by the RIAA. On the album was a track written by an unknown songwriter by the name of Skylark entitled System of Survival. Released as a single, the song became a hit, going to number one on the Billboard R&B charts and dance charts. System of Survival was nominated for a Soul Train Award in the category of Best R&B, Soul Single, Group, Band or Duo. Another single titled, Thinking of You, got to nose, 1 and 3 on the Billboard Dance Club Songs and Hot R&B, Hip Hop Songs charts respectively. In 1988, the band released the compilation album The Best of Earth Wind and Fire, Volume 2. An original album cut, Turn On, The Beat Box, got to number 26 on the Billboard Hot R&B, Hip Hop Songs chart. The album was certified gold in the U.S. by the RIAA. In 1988 EWF went on to be nominated for an NAACP Image Award in the category of Best Vocal Group. In 1990 EWF issued their 15th studio album, entitled Heritage. People magazine described it as an album with a full dose of energy and creativity. Spin noted, bright, cheery harmonies set in crisp call and response patterns laced together with dreamy musical interludes on the album. The album rose to number 19 on the Billboard Top R&B, Hip Hop Albums chart. The album's title track, featuring the boys, got to number 5 on the Billboard Hot R&B, Hip Hop Songs chart. Another single, For the Love of You, featuring MC Hammer, rose to number 19 on the Billboard Hot R&B, Hip Hop Songs chart. During 1992, EWF issued an album called The Eternal Dance. The LP was the band's first ever box set. After 21 years EWF signed once again with Warner Brothers following this came the release in September 1993 of their 16th studio album, Millennium. The album rose to nose. 8 and 39 on the top R&B, hip-hop albums and Billboard 200 charts respectively. 
It was nominated for a Soul Train Music Award in the category of Best R&B, Soul Album, Group, Band or Duo. Off the album the single Sunday Morning earned the band a Grammy nomination for Best R&B Vocal Performance by a Duo or Group. The song got to nose. 20 and 33 on the Billboard Hot R&B Songs and Canadian Top Singles charts respectively. Another album cut entitled Spend the Night rose to number 36 on the Billboard Adult R&B Songs chart. On July 30, 1993 former Phoenix Horns saxophonist Don Myrick was fatally shot by a Santa Monica Police Department officer. On October 13, former lead vocalist Wade Flemons died from cancer in Battle Creek, Michigan. In November 1993, EWF performed at the American Music Awards 20th Anniversary Special. In 1994, Earth Wind and Fire were inducted into the NAACP Image Award Hall of Fame. Topic 1994-present, Neo period On September 14 of the following year, the band received another tribute in the form of a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Maurice White, Ralph Johnson, Sonny Emery, Philip Bailey, Sheldon Reynolds, Andrew Woolfolk and Verdine White all attended the inauguration ceremony where they were bestowed with the honor before hundreds of fans. In 1996, White retired from touring with the band. At the time, he explained that he wanted to take a rest from the rigors of the road. Philip Bailey was given the role of on-stage leader of the band. The studio album In the Name of Love was released in 1997 on Rhino Records. The album went on to be critically acclaimed as being wholly neo-soul in its sound and style. Off the album the single, Change Your Mind, rose to number 26 on the adult R&B songs chart. Another album cut entitled, When Love Goes Wrong, got to number 33 on the adult R&B songs chart. EWF played at the 1997 Montreux Jazz Festival and gave an encore performance the following year. A DVD of the band's 1997 performance at the festival entitled Earth Wind and Fire, live at Montreux 1997 was released in 2004. Earth Wind and Fire guested on Wu-Tang Clan offshoot Sons of Man's 1998 debut album The Last Shall Be First. The album got to nose. 20 and 7 on the Billboard 200 and Top R&B, Hip Hop Albums charts respectively. During 1999 EWF went on to issue an album entitled The Ultimate Collection on Columbia. The album reached number 34 upon the UK Albums Chart. A remix by UK dance duo Fats and Small called September 99 got to nose, 1 and 25 on the Canadian Dance Songs and UK Singles Charts respectively. In 1999, the group also performed on the A&E Network show Live by Request. A website entitled www.startalk.org was set up in 1999 in honor of Maurice. Maurice later spoke of a mild affliction with Parkinson's disease. Artists such as Steven Tyler of Aerosmith, Boys Two Men, Smokey Robinson, Isaac Hayes, Michael Jackson, Eric Clapton and Tom Morello of Rage Against the Machine posted messages on the site for White. Maurice, however, had the disease under control, so much so that he occasionally made appearances at Earth Wind and Fire performances, and continued to write, record, produce and develop new recordings for Earth Wind and Fire and other artists. On March 6, 2000, Earth Wind and Fire was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame by hip hop artist Lil Kim to a standing ovation during the 15th annual ceremony held at New York's Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Maurice White, Philip Bailey, Verdine White, and Ralph Johnson, as well as former EWF members Al McKay, Larry Dunn, Andrew Woolfolk, Fred White, and Johnny Graham attended the ceremony. 
At the gala they performed Shining Star and That's the Way of the World together. Earth Wind and Fire were the specially invited music guests at the June 20, 2000 White House State Dinner hosted by President Bill Clinton on the South Lawn of the White House, in honor of His Majesty Muhammad VI, King of Morocco, and Her Royal Highness Princess Lala Maram. So impressed was the king by the band's performance that he made a personal request for EWF to perform in Morocco for his 37th birthday celebration on August 21, 2000. EWF went on to collaborate with Wyclef Jean on his second studio album, The Eclectic, Two Sides to a Book, which was issued in August 2000. The album got to nose, 3 and 9 on the Billboard Top R&B, Hip Hop Albums and Billboard 200 charts respectively. The album was certified platinum in the U.S. by the RIAA. In 2001, a biographical documentary of the band entitled Shining Stars, the official story of Earth Wind and Fire was released, directed by Catherine Arnold. Following the September 11 attacks of that year, the band members donated $25,000 to the American Red Cross at a September 13 show at Virginia's Verizon Wireless Virginia Beach Amphitheater, the band's first concert since those events took place. February 24, 2002 saw Earth Wind and Fire performing at the closing ceremonies of the 2002 Winter Olympics held in Salt Lake City, Utah. In June 2002, EWF was honored with the ASCAP Rhythm and Soul Heritage Award at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills, California. The award was presented by ASCAP President and Chairman Marilyn Bergman, Stevie Wonder, and Jimmy Jam. A live album of the band's 1980 performance in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, entitled Live in Rio, was released on Maurice White's Kalimba Records label in November 2002. In May 2003 EWF issued The Promise on Kalimba Records. It rose to number 19 on the top R&B, hip-hop albums charts and received critical acclaim upon its release, with People magazine and Blender magazine describing it as musically rich and a classy collection, respectively. On the album were two previously unreleased songs from the I Am recording sessions, Where Do We Go From Here and Dirty. A track entitled Hold Me written and produced by famed producers Tim and Bob earned the band a Grammy nomination for Best Traditional R&B Vocal Performance. The album cut All in the Way, which reunited EWF with the emotions, got to nose. 13 and 25 on the Billboard Adult R&B Songs and Adult Contemporary Songs charts respectively. The tracks Never and Why rose to nose. 17 and 19 on the Billboard Smooth Jazz Songs chart respectively. On July 7, 2003 the band was inducted into Hollywood's Rockwalk. In September 2003 EWF were inducted into the Vocal Group Hall of Fame. On February 8, 2004, Earth Wind and Fire performed in a tribute to funk at the 46th Annual Grammy Awards held at the Staples Center, Los Angeles, California. Other artists performing at this tribute were Parliament Funkadelic, Outkast, and Robert Randolph and the Family Band. EWF sang Shining Star and then at Outcast's request crooned The Way You Move with them. Robert Randolph and the family band performed their single I Need More Love and then all of the band's team to sing Parliament Funkadelic's classic Give Up the Funk Tear the Roof Off the Sucker. EWF also covered Jimi Hendrix's Voodoo Child Slight Return on his May 2004 tribute album Power of Soul, a tribute to Jimi Hendrix. On June 8, 2004 EWF were bestowed with the Norris Signature Governor's Award at Los Angeles's Beverly Hills Hotel. 
On September 27, 2004, former Phoenix Horns trombonist Louis Satterfield died, aged 67. In November 2004, EWF and saxophonist Kenny G issued a cover of Outcasts The Way You Move on Arista Records. The single got to number 12 on the Billboard Adult Contemporary Singles chart. On December 11, 2004, Earth Wind and Fire were honored at the first annual Grammy Jam held at Los Angeles's Wiltern Theater. At the Grammy Jam artists such as Stevie Wonder, Yolanda Adams, Sheila E., Miri Ben-Ari, George Duke, Kanye West, and Randy Jackson paid tribute to the band in the form of performances. Other celebrities who attended the event were Pamela Anderson, Tim Allen, Prince, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, Nick Cannon, and Suzanne de Passé. EWF performed on Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve on December 31, 2004, the February 6, 2005, Super Bowl XXXIX pregame show in Jacksonville, Florida saw the band teaming with the Black Eyed Peas to sing Where Is the Love? and Shining Star. In March 2005, EWF performed in Russia for the first time. In 2004, Earth Wind and Fire and Chicago embarked upon a joint national tour, which gave rise to a DVD of a concert that took place at Los Angeles Greek Theater entitled Chicago and Earth Wind and Fire, live at the Greek Theater. This DVD was released on June 28, 2005, and was certified platinum two months afterward. Chicago and EWF once again toured together in 2005 and collaborated for a new recording of Chicago's ballad If You Leave Me Now, that was included on Chicago's 2005 compilation album Love Songs. As part of an opening act for the 57th Primetime Emmy Awards held on September 18, 2005, at Los Angeles Shrine Auditorium, the band once more collaborated with the Black Eyed Peas. This was first time a musical artist had opened at the annual awards show. EWF released a single entitled Show Me the Way, on which they paired with neo soul artist Raphael Sadiq on Sanctuary Records in the fall of 2005. The single garnered a Grammy nomination and was featured on Illumination, their 19th studio album, which was released on September 20, 2005. For this album EWF collaborated with artists such as Will.i.am, Kelly Rowland, Outkast's Big Boy, and Brian McKnight. Illumination reached number 8 on the top R&B, hip-hop album chart and number 32 on the Billboard Hot 100. Another single spawned from the album, dubbed Pure Gold, reached number 23 on the adult contemporary charts. The album garnered the admiration of critics, with AllMusic's Rob Theakston referring to the album as an outstanding record and Steve Jones of USA Today remarking that on the album EWF are as vibrant as ever. Illumination received a Grammy nomination for Best R&B Album and a Soul Train Music Award in the category R&B Soul Album. EWF also received a NAACP Image Award nomination for Best Duo or Group. In 2006, Maurice worked with Maurice Hines, brother of famed entertainer Gregory Hines, to release the Broadway play Hot Feet. This was a jukebox musical with its theme the music of Earth, Wind and Fire. Maurice co wrote with Alay Willis several new songs for the play. On February 11, 2007 EWF performed Runaway Love alongside Mary J. Blige and Ludacris at the 49th Grammy Awards held at Los Angeles's Staples Center. Interpretations, celebrating the music of Earth Wind and Fire, an album featuring cover versions of EWF's material, was released on Stax Records on March 27, 2007. Executive produced by Maurice, the LP featured artists such as Chaka Khan, Kirk Franklin, Layla Hathaway, Mint Condition, Dwelle, Michelle Indegayo Cello, and Angie Stone. 
The album rose to number 28 on the Billboard Top R&B, Hip Hop Albums chart. Dwele and Michel Indegeo Cello's renditions of That's the Way of the World and Fantasy, respectively, were each Grammy nominated for the Best Urban, Alternative Performance. The band was the opening act at a special edition of American Idol entitled Idol Gives Back, which aired April 25, 2007, and performed a medley of Boogie Wonderland, Shining Star, and September. At the Nobel Peace Prize concert in Oslo, Norway, on December 11, 2007, Earth Wind and Fire performed Fantasy and September. Hosted by Kevin Spacey and Uma Thurman, the Nobel Peace Prize concert was broadcast to over 100 countries. Other artists who performed included Melissa Etheridge, Alicia Keys, Annie Lennox, and Kylie Minogue. Earth Wind and Fire performed on the opening night of one of the largest musical events in Latin America, Chile's Viña del Mar Festival. The band so impressed the audience with their performance that the band was bestowed with the Gaviota de Plata English translation, the Silver Seagull, the highest award that can be presented to an artist performing at the Viña del Mar Festival. The intro to EWF's song In the Stone has been used for several years as the introductory theme for the event's broadcasts. On 10 March 2008 the band was inducted into the Munich Olympic Walk of Stars, Maurice White, Ralph Johnson, Philip Bailey, and Verdine White each received an honorary degree from the Arts and Media College at Columbia College Chicago's 2008 Commencement Exercises. During the ceremony Verdine White and Johnson both gave acceptance speeches before all four honorees gave an impromptu performance of Shining Star. EWF performed at the opening ceremony of the 2008 U.S. Open, which was hosted by Forrest Whitaker and served to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the founding of tennis's Open era with a parade of more than 25 former U.S. Open singles champions. Earth Wind and Fire performed at the White House on February 22, 2009, for the Governor's Dinner. They were the first musical artists to perform there since Barack Obama took office. The band toured once more with Chicago in 2009 for a tour of 30 U.S. cities. On April 26, 2009, EWF performed at the 39th New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. Less than two weeks prior to this, former keyboard player Robert Brookins had died from a heart attack, aged 46. In 2010, EWF performed at the 40th New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. Within that same year, the band participated in the recording of the We Are the World 25 for Haiti single. 2010 was also the year that saw Earth Wind and Fire's original members Maurice White, Philip Bailey, Verdine White, Al McKay, and Larry Dunn all inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. In November 2011, the band received the Legend Award at the Soul Train Awards at Atlanta, Georgia's Fox Theater. In 2012, EWF were bestowed with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the 20th Annual Trumpet Awards, held at Cobb Energy Performing Arts Center in Atlanta. On February 29, 2012, early guitarist Roland Bautista died, aged 60, of natural causes. Earth, Wind, and Fire, along with former Pussycat doll Melody Thornton and Charlie Wilson, guested on the LL Cool J track Something About You. The song went on to appear on his 2013 album Authentic, Now, Then and Forever, the group's first album in eight years, was released on September 10, 2013. On January 13, 2014, former percussionist Belloid Taylor, who co-wrote the band's 1976 hit Getaway, died. Just a few months later, on May 2, former vocalist Jessica Cleves died at the age of 65 following complications from a stroke. On September 13, 2014, Earth Wind and Fire performed at proms in the park at Hyde Park with the BBC Concert Orchestra. On October 21, 2014, Earth Wind and Fire released their first ever holiday album, entitled Holiday. 
On December 8, 2014, Earth Wind and Fire performed at the Kennedy Center Honors, honoring Al Green. On December 14, 2014, the band performed at the Christmas in Washington event. Maurice White died on February 4, 2016, after suffering for some years with Parkinson's disease. He was survived by his wife, his two sons, daughter and his brothers Verdine and Fred. Topic Legacy Earth Wind and Fire's songs have been covered by artists including Whitney Houston, D'Angelo, Kim Burrell, Dionne Warwick, Taylor Swift, Patti LaBelle, and Kirk Franklin. They have been covered by Winona Judd, Yolanda Adams, Carmen McRae, Chaka Khan and 112. EWF has been sampled by artists such as Drake, A Tribe Called Quest, Missy Elliott, Snoop Dogg, Jay-Z, The Fugees, LL Cool J and Common. The band has also been sampled by the likes of Bjork, Diddy, The Roots, Will Smith, Nas, TLC, Public Enemy, Lupe Fiasco, Tupac Shakur and MC Light. Earth Wind and Fire has influenced artists such as Beyoncé, Usher, Will.i.am, Janelle Monet, Mary J. Blige, Prince, Pharrell Williams, India Ari, John Cicada, and Wyclef Jean. They have also been influential to artists like Angie Stone, The All-American Rejects, Jesse McCartney, Music Soulchild, Solange Knowles, Babyface, Gold Frapp, Outkast, and Gloria Estefan, artists such as Jamiroquai, Pitbull, Lenny Kravitz, Amel LaRue Justice Omarion, Rob Borden of Linkin Park, Jill Scott, and Justin Timberlake have also been influenced by EWF. The band has influenced artists such as Bonnie Raitt, Erica Badu, Jamie Foxx, Patrick Stump of Fall Out Boy, Layla Hathaway, Amy Winehouse, and Meghan Trainor. Miles Davis described EWF as his all-time favorite band, saying, they have everything, horns, electric guitar, singers and more, in one band. Quincy Jones has proclaimed himself to be the biggest fan of Earth Wind and Fire since day one. Alicia Keys has proclaimed EWF as being the best band ever. Dionne Warwick has named Earth Wind and Fire as her favorite group of all time. David Foster mentioned Earth Wind and Fire as his favorite band of all time on the show Hitman Returns, David Foster and Friends, 2011. In this concert he showed his respect to Maurice White publicly. In the movie B.A.A.D.A.S.S.S.S.S., the actor Khalil Kane portrayed a young Maurice White leading the early incarnation of Earth Wind and Fire. Released at the Sundance Film Festival, the film was based on Melvin Van Peebles' struggle to film and distribute the movie Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song and was directed by his son Mario Van Peebles. Earth Wind and Fire's songs have been featured in many movies all over the world and TV shows, including Anchorman, Last Vegas, The Untouchables, Night at the Museum, film series, Caddyshack, The Mentalist, True Blood, The Office, Glee, Daredevil, The Cleveland Show, Family Guy, and The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Topic. Members. Philip Bailey, lead vocals, percussion, 1972 to 1984, 1987 present. Verdine White, bass guitar, backing vocals, 1970 to 1984, 1987 present. Ralph Johnson, percussion, backing vocals, 1972 to 1984, 1987 present. Drums, 1972 to 1984 with B. David Whitworth, percussion, vocals, 1996 present. Myron McKinley, keyboards, musical director, 2001 present. John Paris, drums, vocals, 2001 present. Philip Bailey Jr., vocals, percussion, 2008 present. Morris O'Connor, lead guitar, vocals, 2008 present. 
Serg Dmitrievic, Rhythm Guitar, Vocals 2012 present. Topic. Awards and nominations Topic. Discography Topic Studio Albums Earth Wind and Fire 1971 The Need of Love 1971 Last Days and Time 1972 Head to the Sky 1973 Open Our Eyes 1974 That's the Way of the World 1975 Spirit 1976 All in All 1977 I Am 1979 Faces 1980 Rays 1981 Powerlight 1983 Electric Universe 1983 Touch the World 1987 Heritage 1990 Millennium 1993 In the Name of Love 1997 The Promise 2003 Illumination 2005 Now Then and Forever 2013 Holiday 2014 Topic. See also List of best-selling music artists List of number one hits United States List of artists who reached number one in the United States List of number one dance hits United States List of artists who reached number one on the U.S. dance chart